What's happening, guys? Anthony back with another video. Hey, I uh, I had this video almost finished uh, Saturday, I believe it was. Today's Monday, and uh, the phone rang at the last at the last minute there, man. And I just uh, I don't know how to edit it out, so. I wasn't going to show any uh, uh, LPs, but uh, I changed the background music, and I'm going to show all cassettes in this one, except the background music. This is embalmed. Check that out. It's kind of dark here playing in the background. This is Prelude to Obscurity. <clears throat> There's the guys in the background. It's really dark. Really dark. Uh, this come out on 20 bucks spin. This is a, a, a comp, man. Um, some old stuff. Came with this book, man. Just kill, killer stuff. Support brutal music. Uh, death metal from Wisconsin. There's the uh, the stuff that's com compiled on there. The couple of demo releases. Uh, you hear it in the background, man. Check that out. The old tapes. Um, four piece. Had some changes along there. Sometimes it was two, sometimes it was three. Uh, this one came, this one went, but um, as a rule, it was a, uh, a four piece. That's a t shirt there. Uh, just super stuff, man. You got some old flyers. Uh, no longer active. Uh, this thing's got 10 tracks on it, a little over 34 minutes of music. Uh, the first half, the side A on here, track one through four, is from a 97 demo. And track five through eight is from a 95 demo. Uh, and I'm taking that off of this back cover here. If you look at Metal Archives, the dates are a little bit different, but um, you got you got those one through four off of that 97 demo, and the, the next four tracks are off of the... Uh, 95 demo then it's got true two previously unrecorded live tracks from 1998 on there uh, check this out out on 20 bucks spin in conjunction with hospital records i think it is super cool stuff shame these guys aren't around anymore just incredible mid-paced old school death metal there you go all right let's look at some underground tapes I need to get back to what I'm supposed to be doing, and that's my underground stuff, man. This is underground too, but I want you to check these tapes out. I managed to gather up five I want to show you guys. Uh, the first one is Divine Eve, and the name of this is Upon These Ashes, Scorn the World. This is a comp also. Came out 2007 originally on Terra Productions. This is a 2022 Head Split Records uh, reissue. The cover art here is by Eronymous Bosch, I think is his name. Death Doom with some grindcore influences out of Plano, Texas. Uh, four piece on here, nine tracks. You get almost 39 minutes of music. Uh, tracks one through four uh, actually came from As the Angels Weep, EP of 1993. There's the guys there. Uh, track five is uh, come off a, uh, uh, a comp called In Memory of Celtic Frost, a tribute album. Uh, they did a cover song from 1996. Then track six through nine are from the 1994 promo uh, demo, includes a Sodom cover. Um, if you haven't heard these guys, uh, Still active, went through several name changes and a period of inactivity. Uh, the only new material that's not included on this uh, came out in 2010 on an EP, and then they had a split in 2010 also. Heavy, thick guitar sometimes reminds you of Sabbath, you know, that fuzzy Tony Iommi style. And then other times it has like a stoner feel. Varying speeds as you go through the progression of these releases that are included on here they kind of evolve and do different things but all of it's good it's got some spoken word parts on it that actually has a uh, like an english accent and i don't know where that came from uh these guys being from texas unless one of them were actually an import which is always cool because uh you know me i always think you speaking an english accent your iq automatically goes up 20 points but 
I don't know, sounds good to me. Cool stuff if you haven't heard. I picked this one up at Rotted, but I've seen it around several places. And naturally, you can pick it up at Head Split. Divine Eve. Super cool stuff. The next one I want to show you guys is Deflash. Pull this thing out where you can see it better. And the name of it is Marbelli Scapelli, I think is how you say it. This is an EP. Uh, that cover art there's by Dragons that uh, Dragon at Graphic Design. There's the guys there on the back. You can see uh, four piece uh, classified as thrash slash death metal out of Sweden. Uh, this one's actually a reissue uh, from 2022 on Hongguan Records. I've got number 95 out of 100. Actually originally came out in 1994 on Invasion Records. Uh, active since 91 to 205 and then they took a break and came back in 2021. I uh, had three demos before this one and went on to release six full-length LPs, the latest one being in 2022. Let me tell you what it sounds like, uh, if I can get some words to come to mind that bring it. Excellent balance between death metal and thrash, more on the death metal side to me with some thrashy moments, but you know, it's just, uh, it's just great stuff from Sweden, you know, what can you expect? Can't go wrong with Swedish death metal with a thrashy edge. There it is, Deep Flesh. Mabele Scapelle, I think. I picked that one up at Rotted also. All these I got at Rotted, as a matter of fact. Here's another one I want to show y'all. Electrocution, the name of this one is The Real Doom. This one came out in 1991 independently. This is a 2022 reissue on Hongguan Records as well. I got number 83 out of 100. Let me pull it out here. The cover art here is by a guy named Mick Montagudi. Death Metal from Italy. Um, the early stuff, according to Metal Archives, was Death Metal. Then I think they went through a new metal stage and eventually started doing some tech death stuff. But uh, at this point, it was Death Metal. Four piece, six tracks about 20 and a half minutes of music uh, plus an acoustic outro. Uh, this was actually their second demo. Uh, first uh, one that they had out when they formed in 1990 and then active from 90 to 97. And then they took a break in 2012 to present. Still active evidently. Uh, three full links to date. La latest one being in 2019. Super thrashy death metal with excellent musicianship. The bass work on here is tremendous. You can really hear it, it's up in the mix. Uh, demo quality production, as you would expect, but perfect for this music. Great stuff here. If you haven't heard this one, I suggest you check it out. I uh, know it's, you can check a clip of it out on um, YouTube, but uh, get this one if you can, it's good stuff. Two more and we're done, folks. Two more and we're done. Check that background music out, man. Just killing, killing it. Hedonist, the name of this one is Spectral Lacerations. This is a demo from 2021. They released it independently, uh, digitally. And then FKR uh, did a cassette in 2022. Uh, Neon Taste actually did a vinyl uh, version of this in 2022. And this is the Behind the Mountain version on cassette. You see the Behind the Mountain thing there. There you go, that cover art. There's by a guy named Adam Kindred. Death Metal out of Canada, Victoria, British Columbia to be exact. You get three tracks on this demo. Uh, excuse me, you get six tracks on this demo. This was a three piece, about 19 and a half minutes of music. Not sure when they formed. I couldn't find any information on it on Metal Archives. And this is their only physical release to date that I'm aware of. Good death metal, demo production, uh, demo quality production on this one. But um, this is old school death metal, mid-pay stuff.
super stuff. If you haven't heard of Hedonist, check this one out. One more and I'm through. Last but not least, by any stretch of the imagination, this one's real dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. This is a banger. This is a banger, banger, banger. This is malformed. I don't know if you can see that, how dark it is. And the name of this release is Uncontrollable Malformity. This is a demo 2023 release on Rotted Life. There's the cassette. Repeats on both sides. Four piece, you get five tracks. Uh, 15 minutes, 18 seconds of music. Death Metal from Finland. There's the young guys right there. Check that out. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this guy's name that did uh, the art there, but you see it artwork by right there on the thing. Man, this is this is so good, so good. True to their roots. Finnish Death Metal well produced uh there it is malformed uncontrollable malforming these guys have got a big future if you don't check any of them out that i've showed you on there go check this thing out malformed uh go to rotted life get you a copy of this thing man and you will be glad you did super stuff check it out and let me know what you think about it i appreciate you guys man take time and drop me a comment uh, tell me to go jump in the lake if you don't like what I'm doing, but if you do like what I'm doing Give us a thumbs up Makes our day man. We're working for peanuts. Appreciate y'all